Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so, hi. You do not know how to start this video. <laughs> no, <I'm t> <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. Yes, yeah, so, hi Callum. Hello. How are you? I'm sad. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, it's not clickbait. I can't, I can't think is I've only just started. <laughs> <laughs> You can't. <laughs> I've only just started. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, God, this is so stupid. I said to you, I haven't, but I didn't think I would just literally say hello. Oh, for sake. Ah. Uh. Uh. So, <laughs> today is a, uh, an odd video. Um, so after almost oh, a decade, how Jesus. many, how long is it exactly? It's, it's going to be, it'll be nine years officially, but. Nine years total. Yeah. Um. <laughs> ah! <laughs> do you want to do it? Because I, I really can't talk. <laughs> I can't do it either. <laughs> It's just stupid. <laughs> Sake! So, <laughs> don't worry, you can probably tell we haven't fallen out because we're laughing. Um, it's time for us to go our separate ways. Um, it's been a uh, I don't know, for sake. <laughs> so should you, would you like some tissue? <laughs> Just think of the thumbnail. It's gonna be great. They're all gonna click on it. <laughs> so life is very different now than it was almost ten years ago. Um, nothing's happened between us. I want to make that very, very clear. Like, I still love. You cheated Callum. on me. Oh, I cheated on him. <laughs> I still love and adore Callum, and nothing's happened. But, as, you know, the, the, the saying goes, all good things must come to a And, yeah, we're about to both start a different life journey. Um, some of it happened because of, you know, there's many different reasons. So, first of all, before we get into this video, I've composed myself. Um, so we're doing a few things today. I want to just like explain to you everything why we're doing it. And then we can discuss some of our little fun memories. And then I only just told you this before we started filming that at the end of the video, we're going to be reacting to a couple of our very first videos we did nine oh years ago when we were 25 years old. Stop it. Sprightly little children. <sighs> God, I can't believe it's actually insane. when you actually think about it, we we've been making content together for nine years. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Anyway, we'll get onto the reasons. Um, it's too f***ing expensive. Yeah. The cost of living and everything has made everyone's life very different. Um, I'm not saying obviously that's why we're, we're going separate ways. There's many other things, but you know, London, when we first, when I first moved to London, it was already very expensive. It was harder, obviously, on me at the time because I, I li was working in retail. As time went on, obviously, YouTube became a full-time job. Callum went full-time uh, social media himself and being his own thing in the north and everything. But obviously, with the cost of living going up and everything, it just made everything a lot harder. Obviously, as well, uh, we're older now. <laughs> we've, Significantly, we've older. aged. We've aged 10 years. And so we have made the decision to go our separate ways. Um, I know you guys are probably thinking like, what's going to happen like with the videos and everything. I know that's one of the first things people are going to think of because that's obviously what we put on the internet. I would still like to think that we'll make videos together at some point. Like we'll still visit each we, other, obviously. We will. We'll definitely continue to make videos. Like that's, yeah, absolutely. That's 100% going to continue to happen. Yeah. And so Callum has wanted to do this for a long time. Not, not, I'm not saying leave Leave. No, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I don't know what <laughs> You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, Callum just wanted to do, well, I mean, you can tell them. I, I, I travel for work. I'm a travel influencer. I'm a travel writer. I write books and I am always traveling. Like last year, I was in this country 
for less than four months total. Yeah. <laughs> That's how much I was traveling. So yeah. like I officially lived here with Roly, but like I wasn't actually here with you yeah. that much at all. I mean, it was lovely to constantly like come back and have this as a base, but I was never here. I was always traveling. And then it kind of came to the point of like talking about the like financial side of things. Yeah. I was just like, it's so expensive to live here. And if I'm not here, and you feel this way too. Oh like yeah, no, absolutely. No, I do, like I do. It's, it's both of us. So like, why keep paying all of this money? If I was like a super rich, <laughs> if I was like a millionaire, if I had like, not even a millionaire, if I had like a lot more money than I do, I would continue to keep this apartment mm -hmm. even if I was never in it. And I would continue to live here with Roly, even if he wanted to go off and do whatever. I would continue that if that was like, financially viable but it's not yeah i just can't justify that enormous expense of like continuing to live here in this apartment while i'm going to be like so i'm gonna go and travel full time i'm gonna be a nomad i did this in my early 20s i wrote a book about it but now i'm gonna do it again but in a very different stage of my life like i'm an adult now i'm not like some like 23 year old kid i'm like an adult now so still acts like a 23 year old kid i do still act 23 like year old kid so that's what i'm going to go and do and it's it's like scary as hell to not have a base like i'm giving up everything i own to live out of one single bag but yeah it's it's time to live but i like I'm going to visit. The wonderful thing about being a nomad is I can be wherever the hell I want to be. So if I'm like, I actually just want to be with Roly and I just want to play PlayStation for two weeks, then I can come and visit you. Yeah. I'm not going to go too far into my plans because I'm going to make a completely separate video on that. So that's going to be on my second channel, Extra Roly. So if you want to watch more of my travel stuff that I'm doing, go to my second channel, Extra Roly. I'll give a full description of what's happening. But I am actually moving out of London as well. So I'm going to Brighton. Um, so that's gonna be an interesting change. Uh, it was always my dream to kind of like come to live in London and like be in London. Um, but of course London isn't the same as what it was when I moved here. And although at first I thought that my dream wasn't kind of like, like it's almost like I feel like a bit of failed my dream. The world and everything is very different now. It's hard to kind of say and, that. And you haven't failed your dream. I know, you I know. You came yeah. to London and lived here for almost 10 years and like achieved so much and did so much and built this like, YouTube empire that you have going on right now by moving here and you're ju you're not you're not failing you're just moving on to the next stage of your life you're moving to a really really exciting the gayest city in the UK <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um to start something new and yeah. as you say like London isn't what it like we used to have so much fun mm -hmm. living yeah. here we do we still have fun we have fun in our apartment yeah like we may as well not live in London well, for all yeah. we enjoy it because like it's too expensive it seems like the life that was once here like if you talk about like queer nightlife it's all like everything's closed down everything's yeah, gone absolutely and then like we used to have like we used to be going to events and stuff all the time and like I don't know what it is, like cost of living crisis or something like those events are never happening anymore. Yeah, it, a lot of it is since since COVID happened. Before COVID happened, we were um, going to, we would, yeah, we would go Several nights time. a week, we'd so, be going out, doing things, doing exciting things. events. It was amazing. And, and so it's... much of that never came back. Yeah. And then because of the cost of living stuff happened as well, it was like, then it was an extra knock of like events even just went away and disappeared. So we were kind of paying like London, we, well, we were kind of, we are paying London premiums but not getting a London lifestyle. Yeah, but for, not for using cost. London. And um, so we we live in Wembley. We've lived here for seven years. <sighs> um, shock horror. <laughs> we, so we moved here in 2017. Originally, we lived in Stratford. <laughs> And we lived there for a couple of years and with situations happening there with like ex people, we decided that we needed to move just us two. So I sort of scratched you. And when we first moved here, it was a completely different place as well. It was kind of not really built up very well, uh, but it was really nice. We enjoyed it. And then when all like the stalker stuff happened, that kind of like oomphed us after COVID to kind of move again because we were like, well, we need like a new... Because we've been, we yeah, we've been so secretive about so where secretive, we live. Like yeah. it's so, it's an absolute gag Absolutely. that you just said it in a video because yeah. we had <laughs> and so uh, we basically just moved down the street. Now we didn't tell people online that we did that. We just said we've moved to a completely different place. But we've essentially just lived on top of Wembley Stadium for seven years. <laughs> and when Ed Sheeran played for like three weeks, we had to listen to it. We were here for the World World Cup. World, World Cup, Cup, yeah. And like it was happening like 
outside yeah. our house. Yeah. But like, we had to be like completely we private and quiet anything. about this. Like, we can't like take pictures in our like local neighborhood because there's this great big stadium. Yeah. Like, we have had to keep this like so secret for I, so long. And like, anytime any bottle, any like anyone over, and they were like, "Can we take photos?" And we were like, "No, <laughs> no, you can't." <laughs> like, because we have a rooftop, and sometimes if on the roof, we're always like, "You cannot show up from that angle, oh, that, that angle, angle yeah. or that angle." So you can only do it against that wall, even though we're on like a, a thirty-story roof. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your house is really boring like yeah yeah <laughs> so uh it's been, it has been fun and it's been wonderful but yeah with the cost of living and everything it's just made it a little bit difficult and you know i did contemplate originally staying here on my own but i don't want to pay two and a half grand of a month on a rent like because uh, every year the rent goes up but this year the place we live have decided they want to up it by like 300 pounds it was closer to 400 it was like 380 or something they wanted to up our rent again having already upped it multiple times mm -hmm. they wanted to up it by that much uh, yeah and if I we stayed here they would want 380 pound extra a month yeah. or something like that's insane. Like, mm -hmm. it's gone insane. Like, we cannot afford that. We no. can't afford that. And the thing is as well is, of course, with YouTube and things, I've always wanted my own dedicated filming setup. At the moment, well, ever since I moved to London, it's always been my bedroom. So my bedroom was my office, my editing, everything was my bedroom. And of course, I do, obviously sometimes I do things in the living room, but I try not to invade that space too much because like it's a communal area. I contemplated staying here, but I was like, I'm just not going to spend that much money on my own. It would just like, I would have zero savings, anything that like, all like, so yes, I am moving to Brighton. As I said, I'll be doing a whole travel video for that. I feel like when I first moved in with you in 2015, so there was a whole scenario about why I moved in with him. Uh, I moved with my sister for a few months and then a room opened up in his house that he was in and I could not afford it. I was in Morrison's, I was working retail, I was earning £800 a month and the rent was 830 So uh, that's how much I was paying at the time. I took a leap of faith that I could do this. I had, a, I had like two grand in my bank savings and I was like, if I just kind of use that two grand to live and pay all of my <laughs> work money on rent, <laughs> I'll survive. You've only gone and moved in. Yes, bitch. And I oh wish you would hurry up and move out. Because <laughs> I'm already sick of you. Too <laughs> loud, <laughs> too noisy. Too, yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna lie, 2016 was disgusting for me. I hated every second yeah, of my life yeah. because I was so struggling. I mean, we had wonderful times, obviously, but life-wise, I was, like, struggling. Um, Callum always loves to refer to me when I had a panic attack about a cleaning spray. <laughs> it was a five-pound cleaning spray and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. And you, like, basically had a breakdown because I did. you spent five pounds on it. That's how little money you had at the time. Yeah, I was trying to clean my carpet because the past, the last person who lived was in that room mud messed up the carpet. It looked really disgusting. So I bought this, like, foam spray and I was trying to clean it and it wasn't working and I chose not to eat because I wanted that <laughs> because spray. Because that, that's like how little money. And I, I think it's worth saying as well because I do think sometimes people see our lives online and see us as influencers and assume we're very, very rich people. Mm -hmm. And like that is true of some like big social media stars. Yeah, and yeah. you were so close to the breadline kind of thing. Yeah. Like, or I'd, I'd say you even, you would cross the breadline. Yeah, I did. The yeah. breadline was back there. Yeah, the fact that I was, I was picking, maybe cleaning my carpet over, over eating. Yeah, because I really hated the way it looked. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, I definitely feel like I was a culture shock to you a little bit. Cause I think you were so used to being around like city town folk to suddenly have this like man from Devon. who this was like country this, this little country bumpkin who like had a really tiny circle of friends who like didn't know anyone who was so like uncultured of the world and suddenly your... coming in entirely insane. I am insane. I truly <laughs> never, I mean, your people know this, they watch your YouTube videos. I've never known somebody mm. so insane in my life. And entire. I feel like I was actually a little bit more loopy on my poopy back then. Like, if we if we compare the shit that I used to say and do back then compared to now. You just said, <laughs> loopy on my poopy. <laughs> You used to have a very vulgar mouth. I did. Oh, I'm sure when we watch these couple of videos, I'm going to have to bleep basically just half This of it. is why he was poor, because every video was <laughs> demonetized. No, but can I say one thing though? Back in the day, we didn't get told about demonetization. No. It just happened. It just happened. So yeah. like a lot of the time swearing and everything, there was no rules about it. It was just kind of like, if you got demonetized, it happened and YouTube just did not tell you. Yeah, absolutely. It wasn't until 2018 was when they started to kind of show you little bits and but even then it wasn't great it's only been recent years where they've really kind of which is insane insane like you've got money youtube so <laughs> <laughs> it was strange coming from a small town to moving in with callum because 
he has been, he's very introverted and I'm very extroverted. And so the, the balance between the two of us, especially because I lived in your room for a month. So I moved in with him yeah, a month early. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I forgot that. In September 2015. And we slept in your room. And you must have been like, can you get out of my I room? I actually, like, I think I've repressed that trauma. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, I don't really remember. I know it happens, but I don't really remember it. So what, what would you say? Out of all the time we've been together, what are, what are your favorite moments? Like on YouTube and off YouTube? Oh God, I don't, I don't, I don't. Rocking horse, choking on corpse. <laughs> I still moment. get quoted that all the Do time. You really? I get quoted that all the time still from like our legacy followers. On YouTube, I mean, there's been so much on YouTube, like all the like candy videos that just like ended in absolute chaos. Mm -hmm. I think like the Russian candy video will always go down in the hall of fame. Oh, disgusting. Of, of just, everything like, being everything wafer. Everything was a wafer. Wafer, everything wafer, a wafer. wafer. And I just remember us like crying with laughter, like film filming that. So this <laughs> one scores wafer bar. <laughs> <laughs> Every Chaos. time we thought it was gonna be something new, it just tasted like wafer and it just became the joke. But then for, yeah. again, for years afterwards, everyone was just like, oh, do you want some wafer? <laughs> yeah, 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 just yeah. tweeting us photos of wafer bars. And like, we have, I mean, how many videos have we made together over these years? It I love, <laughs> I love coming for Caitlin Bennett. Oh, that was fun. That's our most popular video. 1.1 well. 1. 1 million uh, views, that one does. We have two videos that have a million views. So you're welcome, I will be invoicing <laughs> my cut of the ad revenue. <laughs> Annoyingly, the, the Caitlin Bennett one got demonetized. <sighs> For hate speech. Yeah, her hate so, speech. Yeah, yeah. No, not, not I did, Yeah, I didn't actually make that much money. In my, I, I, I did uh, submit like a thing. I don't know if it ever got like approved again, but yeah, when it first went up, when it was doing really got it got demonetized. And she speech. tried to sue us. She tried to sue she us. She tried to sue us. Can you imagine? So I got an email. It was about maybe five or six months after that video going up. Me and a load of other YouTubers who had made videos on that video that she was doing. So in this video, she went around camp, like a college campus saying like, they're putting urinals in women's bathroom. Completely false. It never, true, this yeah. never happened. She was just lying. Me and a lot of LGBT YouTubers like making videos about it. And obviously we did the reaction to the, to the main video. And so we all got these like emails from this like lawyer. I don't know who they were saying that like they were going to press charges against us if we don't take the video down for. It was like uh, defamation. Yeah. We were just like, Go on then. Yeah. Like, and, go for it. And fair play to YouTube. I know I just like them off 10 seconds ago, but like, um, YouTube did actually step in mm -hmm. and had their lawyers get involved and be like, yeah. and, and shut the whole thing down, which yeah. is in incredible, really, mm -hmm. um, that they did that, that they did stand up for us. So, you know, YouTube aren't always perfect, but they have done good. To be fair as well, they're like, we were never going to get like expedited to America to be sued by Kim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must go because you caught her. <laughs> it's true. Do you know, I actually really enjoyed a lot of the times when we first moved in, when I was doing the extra roly videos more often, and we were just like running around the house being stupid, calling the lift woman a bitch, and like <laughs> jumping like, on the I bed. Like, and... why anyone watch that? It no, was, it was just chaos. Chaos. Just utter just chaos. Us running around the house. We, I think we literally did like the same video like eight times. And we just, like, just kept watching it. Watching it. And all it was was us going to the lift in our building, calling the lift woman a because she would like say, doors opening, we would just shut up your old bitch. And then we would run into the house, jump on the bed and then just scream for a bit. And that was the so video. So stupid. And we and they did it so many times. And people were these, like, yes. These, these like TikTok twinks, they have no idea what used to go on <laughs> on the internet. They have no, no idea. Gen Z, like you truly don't know mm -hmm. what the internet used to be. Yeah. It's, 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 YouTube especially has changed so much in the past. 10 years, yeah. it's so different now. So different. So, uh, yeah, I think some of my, my, my favorite times as well was I remember the first time that I properly hung out with you and when we filmed, well, we're gonna react to it, when we filmed our very, very first video together, I was like, Coming out of your apartment, we went to the Westfield at the time to go get some food. And I was like, this is the life I really want. I, I can't believe he lives in this beautiful place. Then a few months later, I moved in. It was weird though, because like when I moved in with you, we we were we weren't like bezzy mates, but we were kind of friendly. But I was kind of surprised that you even really agreed to it because we didn't really know each other that well. We didn't know each other that well at all. No, it is interesting that we went from like zero to a hundred yeah. really really quick. But I liked you and I wanted you to move to London and I knew that if we did this, it would like get you here. Like, yeah, it was a good stepping stone to actually getting you to do it. So this was our very, very first video that we what? ever filmed Why together. Why is it edited like this? Oh, I used to do this all the time in my videos. You look like your eyes are bleeding. I know. It was because I used to do like a little preview of what was coming up and the preview always looked a bit weird. So it was always like, are they black and white or I'll change all the color. This is just what I used to put my videos back really, in the day. Really, can I just say what a glow up 
What? We have both had. <laughs> we are aging like fine milk. Fine, oh dear, a, a nice rich milk. So yes, yeah, so this video was called F Marry Kill Gamer Edition. And this was our very, very first video we filmed. And this was in June of 2015 when I put this live. So oh, it's, it's gonna be taking over nine years very, very soon. Yeah. <laughs> Video and welcome to Radio Gusha. I am with the fabulous, gorgeous myself. I don't know who this is. I Hi. Saw you. <laughs> this this is constant yeah. just kind of Oh, Cal oh, 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 triggers. oh triggers. <laughs> <laughs> What we decided to do is we did a gaming related video on his channel. Yeah. So we thought on my channel we would do a f Mario Kill gamer edition. Yeah. So mm. just try and keep, you know, I'm not into yaoi, I'm not into hentai, so Jesus. this is something that I'm doing normally. I don't even know what those words mean. That's I'm too I'm too innocent for the things that you are. Did you do what that was? Of course I knew what that was. I don't know what I'm doing trying to be this like innocent. That's hilarious. Really, you're so like, you're like a twink. I know, uh, no body hair, no, I mean, I don't think twinks really have this many piercings. I feel like, is yeah, that really- That's true. That's a little bit- I'm, Why is my hair like this? I don't know. Well, you, it was because you dyed it black recently. Oh, stupid. But it was just before we filmed this, you had dyed it black. Stupid. I'm very excited and let's do this. No. That wasn't convincing. We're gonna first one do a Mortal Kombat theme. Kill. Okay. Sub Zero. Okay. Shao Kahn or Shang Tsung. Well, I only know which one's Sub Zero. <laughs> And I would shag Sub-Zero. Why would you shag Sub-Zero though? Ice cold and dick shrivel. No. You wouldn't be able to get hard. You have to hit the bottom for that one. You have to hit bottom just for him. I can't. Ice cold f***ing. You're just mad. I don't want ice cold f***ing. I beg your pardon? How comes like the big overall of Outlaw, like Outworld? I would never say that It's interesting because like you, like I feel like YouTube has shifted because it used to have this culture of like collabs. Yeah. And it was very much like you would meet another YouTuber and it would be like a business exchange. Absolutely. You would meet up to collaborate together. But you wouldn't know each other. No, because yeah, because we'd only known each other a few months after before we filmed this. And and like, I remember like at YouTube conventions as well, you used to be meeting people for the first time and then like filming collabs in like a hotel room together yep. and you just like met each other and there here you are talking about like whatever the hell it was why are you doing this are you talking about i was i think i'm just probably just make, gonna make a joke about f-i-s-t-i-n-g yeah <laughs> what exactly i would never i can't I you can't say that now <laughs> Chao Kahn's okay. like the big overall of outlaw like, i still outlaws. stand by this, so like, Chao this Chao big get it. muscly scary ass i would let him kill me to Jesus Christ. Oh, you were such a horny bottom. Mm. Smack my hole. Okay. Like, so, so. Smack, Smack your hole. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Minus, De would, we're demonetized. Would, Shao Kahn. Yeah. I would kill Sub Zero because I can get a short dick. And then also, uh, would I marry Shang Tsung? I'm gonna kill oh, Shang Tsung. I don't know who it is, but I'm gonna kill him. Well, he's a, he basically steals your soul, but he can transform into any other person. I really enjoy that I seem a little bit like, not uncomfortable, but like I don't. You're in shock. I can tell that you're, you're, you're shocked. I don't know what to do with myself. Yeah. I think is that I'm very like, what is going on? I'm well, just trying to go with it. Like, do you want to tell you what's funny? Because we filmed yours before this and on your channel when we filmed, you, that was when you were doing your like collabs every single day with like LGBT YouTubers. Yeah. And we talked about like video games, but it was like, so what was it like being a queer person playing video <laughs> games? And we talked about like Fable and how I was able to make a a gay character and it was really cute and how I loved having this little gay life on this like world that I no one knew about. How lovely. And then suddenly it was like to smack my hole. Smack my hole, shrivel dick and f***ing. Like and this is the fact you can you can see in Cam's face he's like I I I'm don't know what I decided to here. <laughs> <laughs> but all, I mean, all of my videos back then were very full on like this. Yeah, they were, they all... were very full on. Like it was, yeah. But this was still kind of, this was one of the last sort of leaps of era of, of YouTube where like shock comedy was like kind of still a thing. Yes. Just, like right at the yeah, tail end yeah. of it. Number two, do you know much about Tekken? Oh yeah, yeah. I love Tekken. Oh, okay. It's good. Very cool. Devil Jin. Devil Jin? Yeah. Devil Jin, Jack. Or Yoshimitsu. Wait, who's Jack? I don't Jack's know Jack the big is. robot. No, I don't. I is don't that know Jack that. and the Jack Two and the prototype Jack? No, I have no idea who Jack is. Do you know much about Tekken? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I love Tekken. <laughs> oh, okay, it's good. <laughs> Yoshimitsu. Why what did you? Why did you say that you knew about Tekken? I you... did, but like I had only played Tekken Two and Three. Yeah, but so Jack like... and Devil Jim were both in Tekken Two. Oh. Uh, but no, not to my memory, apparently. <laughs> uh, I played Tekken Three a lot more, mm -hmm. so like that's why I knew like Yoshimitsu and Jin, but like. I don't know who Devil Jin and Jack. But now there's a picture on screen. I do know who that is. Mm -hmm. Like I just needed a visual. A reminder. visual, yeah, liar. Are you gonna put liar? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The 
sword and uh, uh, some uh, freaky shit. Devil gin, I would I would shag. So kill whoever that on I Jack, like that gin. Not gonna do that. So my type, mm -hmm. and I find it so interesting. Like, wh what was I, eight years old when I was playing Tekken? I was like, I loved Jin. <laughs> and like, if you look at the boys I date now, it's literally boys who look like Jin. I find oh. it so interesting how, like, you can have a type that really, like... Yeah, yeah, of really course, stays. of course, of course. You need to wipe a little bit under your left nostril. I know, it's been dribbling this whole <laughs> time. Oh my god. Take out the fact that one of them's not you a human. End cortex. So, like, obviously Dr. I know Robotnik. this, but you look buffed up. Oh, weirdly, I'm so wearing a grey top as well. I'm like, like, your chest and your arms are massive now. Well, I never went to the gym back then. That was like before. You were, you're, you're muscly here, but you're like skinny muscly. Mm -hmm. And you look shitter. No. Yeah. <laughs> Or Spyro the Dragon. Spyro would I hate Spyro. Why do you hate Spyro? I don't. I still don't understand I your hatred for Spyro. Do. Like I remember. I think it's because I had like excitement to play Spyro because I was like I loved Crash Bandicoot and there was a you got a Spyro demo with yeah. Crash and yeah. the other way around as well. Um, and then I just played it and I just thought it was a terrible game. And then like, because there was so much love from, everyone else loved Spyro, it just made me go, I don't understand why, which just made me like, mm -hmm. hate Spyro. I do, I just don't, I don't get it. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Get. I'm blurring his face with this entire <laughs> <movie>. <laughs> Dr. Robotnik. Oh, he's a little rascal. He's a, he's a little cheeky rascal. He'd have to lose the moustache, but he would oh, have to I guess I'd have to marry Cortex. He'd rob your house. I, I, and steal well, I can't jackets. shag a dragon. So, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna use Spyro for the background music. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but would you use a Crash Bandicoot? Oh, I would do all kinds of things. That's disgusting. Like, like, if he was a guy, he would be like, dead. Yeah, exactly. If he was a guy, I'm mm. saying. Guys, look, we're drinking in a Harry Potter and a Finding Nemo. Oh, book. God! <laughs> <laughs> He could, he could go inside and spin. That's like the ultimate That sounds painful. No. <laughs> I think this is the most offensive video I've ever taken part in. I'm really... Oh. Little oh, did I you know, had, little was, did I know. Yeah, that was, this was actually quite tame to some of the other stuff we did, Jesus Christ. The bath today de my entire body. Wow. For me, I like armpit hair. I do. Pubes. I do. And hair. I do. Do you know what really unattractive? I'm sorry, but I need to say it. Okay. A hairy ass crowd. <laughs> Why do we have hair there? It doesn't make any sense. At uh, what? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's to stop like stuff getting in. And you don't want to stop stuff getting in. No. How did we even get onto this? Why are we talking about body hair? Like <laughs> Would you ever try to do? No. You didn't. Oh my god! Why are we just met? <laughs> Disgusting. So that was the first video we did. <laughs> I felt like that was definitely a. It's funny you talked about rock and roll because that's pops. one of the videos I literally picked for us to watch now. So. Jesus Christ. Oh, I, Callum loved it when I did blue eyebrows. I, I really did. Like, <laughs> I respected his choice to express in whatever way he chose, but like, I did not like the blue eyebrows. <laughs> oh God, so. But also like, what is that bandana I'm wearing? Like someone yeah. needed to teach me how to tie that. Yeah, can you actually check yourself when you come to me, bitch? Why is it folding over my ears? Why is it too, like. So this one was from eight years ago and Callum was sent a box of like these chocolates, but they had like weird, like was it, what was it, weird flavors or something? They were Cockney rhyming slang. Oh chocolates. yes, okay. So like you got a clue in Cockney rhyming slang to try and figure out what the flavor of the chocolate was. Oh uh, yes, of course. And then we had to decipher what it was. <laughs> Jesus, choking to death. I'm so excited to see you guys because Callum oh McFagulous is here. I mean, I wouldn't be able to put bleach. These eyelashes are gonna jump. Like, why yeah. I didn't stick them down at the end properly? They're like about to jump off my face. Jesus Christ. Oh. Here again for such a like, first time in such a long time. How have you been? I'm good until you started using homophobic language. Oh. <laughs> so what are we doing today, Callum? Uh, we have here, we have some chocolates. Chocolate. And these are really, really weird flavored chocolates. Oh, and we don't crazy. actually know what's in My accent has changed. I saw it in the last video and I think oh, it has, really? it's like my accent has changed. Chocolates, I'm saying. Well, I, don't, I don't say it like that anymore. Weird flavoured chocolates and we don't- Chocolate. Chocolate. It's like, I think it's like I'm still, I still have a bit of like my Derbyshire accent. Yeah, probably. But I think it's faded now. And living with this fake posh person, yeah. you've, you've, you've adopted my wonderful isms. Yeah, I didn't, I had no idea. <laughs> Actually know what's in them, but we've got little clues. All the clues are Cockney rhyming slang. Do you know what that means? I kind of do. What you do mean, you like, think it means? You, you, apple and pears mean stairs. Yeah, so dog so and like, bone means... <laughs> Do you remember what I was going to say then? No. I was going to say... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I was... I... <laughs> 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 Stupid. I don't even 
<laughs> so basically, they're sort of rhyming words. You have to guess what flavour it is by the rhyme. Yes. Okay. So the first one, Roland, is Ruby Murray. Ruby Murray. Ruby Murray, and means that would be Chutney. On. No, it has to rhyme. Well, Murray and Chutney kind no, of rhyme. They don't rhyme. They could. Should we bite Ruby Murray? Well, you don't know what it is. You have you to guess what it is. You might I mean, how many things rhyme with Murray? Furry. <laughs> it's a furry flavour. <laughs> well, I think I know what it is, but I'm going to let you bite it. I thought it was so bad. Mummy. Do you know how it is? <laughs> <laughs> no, Murray. Yeah, and what rhymes with Murray? F God, hurry. <laughs> it's, a, it's a food you ding man. It tastes like rushing. Well, it's clearly curry, but I don't know why yeah, in my mind it just didn't... I'm kind of into it. What is it? Chutney! <laughs> Curry, you f***ing idiot! I'm really mean to you! You caused me such severe trauma for years, girl! It's give and take, masturbate. I have, I have no idea, like, I figured give out Ruby Murray, but take? I have no idea Birthday what give and take is. Give and take, tuna bake? Tuna- uh, <laughs> Can you imagine tuna? It's cake. Oh, it could be cake! 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 What are we doing? Oh, we always just do this because it was like, think of the thumbnail. 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 Yeah. But like Christmas cake. Ruby, Murray, chicken curry, give and take, but the cake. Rosie Lee, dirty pea. Oh, you'd like that. Cherry. Lee and cherry. They do! I still stand by that. Garden peas. Actually, it might be peas. It might not. Rosie be. Lee garden peas. I thought it was cup of tea. What the f is that? Just tastes like a nice chocolate. Oh yes, tea. It's tea. Tea. Oh, it's tea. Can I say none of these things actually tasted very nice? I remember hating every single one of them. I thought they were all disgusting. Yeah, but it was supposed to be more like a game, wasn't it? They weren't supposed to taste nice. They were all this. Don't make us eat things. It's not the. It's not the. It was. It was. Who a... even sent these? I have no idea. I don't remember. I have no idea. I thought it was quite nice. Well, you're messed up. Army and Navy. I do love, what I Great. do love actually watching these old videos is the dynamic between us hasn't really changed. <laughs> no, it hasn't. You're still a lot more serious. I just scream the whole time. Yeah. Like we, 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 <laughs> <laughs> although now again, apparently your, your accent's changed. <laughs> My accent's changed, yeah. yeah. Is it gravy? I, I think it might be like peas and gravy or something. Army, gravy. Army, Navy, Granny's gravy. Sure. Oh, Granny. I mean, it tastes a bit weird, but it's fine. I don't know, it's, it's like gravy granules. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Rocking horse, <laughs> choking on corpse. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've misunderstood how the game works. Well, I mean, the whole point is that they rhyme, okay? So I'm rhyming. Rocking horse, choking on corpse. That doesn't rhyme! <laughs> <laughs> it does! I was. R horse, corpse, they rhyme. They don't rhyme. They are. That's like a half rhyme. Yeah, they still rhyme. Horse and corpse, they kind of have the same sound. Uh, yeah, kind of. But the, is Cockney rhyming slang all meant? I guess it says rhyming slang, doesn't it? It always has to rhyme. Yeah, they're supposed to be like a simple rhyme. Hmm. What was it? Rocking horse. Yeah, I actually don't. Rocking horse. 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 Dorse. Norse. Gorse. Gauze. Oh, gauze flavour. Gauze. Horse. I don't know. Oh my god. Rocking horse. Rocking horse. Choking on gold. Choking on gold. <laughs> Ooh, sounds delish. Smalls? No. Horse? No, because this, no, this is British, so it, smalls, smalls isn't a thing here. Comment below if Comment you figure it out. Yeah. No that's... cheating. <laughs> but you even knew what it was then. Rocking horse. Horse meat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's not horse meat. When a horse runs as horse. <laughs> <laughs> Just go through the alphabet. Horse, dorse, lorse, force. Go in order. Did you? Ass, ass, <laughs> boss, <laughs> ass. Oh, okay, hey. sauce. sauce. Uh, oh god, what is that? What is oh, that? I'm glad you don't like it either. It's like gross, drip it. Uh, <laughs> wonder why it tasted so bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think rotten corpse was better. <laughs> it tastes like rotten. Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. What do you think about that? <laughs> Deleted. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it was a choice that we used to put that on the internet. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? The the the, the as I said though, I'm glad, like the dynamic between us hasn't really changed. But I, you know, that apartment though was I I, I really enjoyed living there. Yeah, me too. Um, it was a shame that it was kind of when a less success, I will say, because we could have made that place a lot more homely because it, it was so big for us that we kind of just it's had massive. The yeah. living room was kind of just like an empty room with like a sofa and a TV. Yeah, <laughs> and it was it was giant. Like you can't really tell from this video how big that room is, but it was it was big. We imagine I can't imagine how much this must go for now. Oh, I can't even. Yeah. Because we were paying, I was paying eight hundred and thirty. It was like eight thirty five a month. And that was me and Kieran both for that, and then you paid a little bit more because you had the en suite. Like so, we were paying close to close to three grand then. Jesus Christ. I can only imagine. I can Im it's yeah. probably double. It's probably a six grand apartment. Yeah. But I, we, we had a lot of fun there. Um, lots of it. Because we, we, I think at this era of us being together, we filmed the most videos ever. Because oh, you yeah. were doing YouTube then as well yourself. Yes. This sofa, this setup here, like every YouTuber filmed. Oh, here. the amount of people on this in our sofa house. with yeah. this background, the amount of people, people who aren't making YouTube videos anymore, people mm -hmm. who have like, you know, moved on, but like, it was like every YouTuber yeah. filmed on this sofa. Yeah. We, like, we, we, was, we were the YouTube space. <laughs> yeah, it was like, I don't want to call our own house iconic, but like it, it, it like it was a little bit. For, for, for the time for when the these time. were out and the, the LGBT community, especially in the UK, we were kind of the, I guess the hub of Everyone Queer came over, yeah. everybody stayed over, everybody filmed in our house. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now there's only one thing I want us to watch, the gay pillow fight. <laughs> This is literally just, this is, this is the video. Shit, it's been in a bottle. I've never seen. Oh my goodness. Go back to Cityville. Go back to... To where, Adam? Where? Fail. Fail. Uh. Kill yourself. <laughs> We would never do this I now. would never upload a video like this now, ever. Bitch! Bitch! You! Bitch! Bitch! You stitch! Grow up! Why is there a bottle of birth in the background? <laughs> like, why are we doing all this with a bottle of champagne, guys? Just go out that! What did I say? You're an awful that! Must be a serious video. Must be a serious video. Get a grip. Today we'd like to talk about homelessness. <laughs> <laughs> I used to make you try, to, I tried to make you do this all the time and you were so bad at it. The other way. Like this. No. I don't know this that, stupid that. It's it's still so, bad. so bad at it. What? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> This is the content. Just us doing this. This is all. This is what we used to do on my second channel. And now he's killing me. Eight years ago, I said, "I love that this is just one cut with no edits." What the hell is wrong with us? At least it? you're aware back then. <laughs> that that is the video that I uploaded. That that is what was in the zeitgeist of Roly and Callum at the time. Insane. You find the video of us like moving into our apartment on the sofa. Welcome to our gay amazing new flat. <laughs> Why are we saying oh, game gay amazing? I can't believe. <laughs> no. This is six years ago? Yeah. Well, it would be closer to seven because... That's insane. Mm -hmm. Like, although it feels like a long time ago, this also feels like yesterday. Yeah. And also, like, I recognise us here. Yeah, this looks more like what we look like now. Absolutely. Yeah, like, obviously we're a bit different, like, but, like... Yeah, it looks a lot more like us. Yeah, and this was this was almost seven years ago. So this would have been September 2017. And I like those other videos that we just watched. Like I have a vague memory of them, but like I remember filming this one. Yeah, and it really doesn't seem like that long. I ago. don't know if it's because like you kind of get to a stage in your life where like you you your face really changes. Like once you get past 25 and your baby your baby sort of yeah. face era changes and everything. I think I think that's what it is because I think we actually look like adults. Yeah, for the other we almost yes. we almost yeah, look yeah, a bit teenagery. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hi everyone. Oh my gosh. I oh how I haven't shaved. I look like crap, but we needed to make this. I haven't shaved. You literally cannot see a <laughs> single <laughs> no facial hair whatsoever. <laughs> Demented. <laughs> we live in a new house. We do. We have. We've moved house, and we have moved into a two-bedroom flat, just us two, because we just. Shall I give them our address? <laughs> <laughs> well, she found it. God, and then we've like we've lived in two houses since this. That's insane. Mm. That's completely insane. Time flies and you've got gout. Yeah. And the thing is as well, I think a lot of it was because uh, of COVID kind of like made us stay in the house for like a year and a half, almost two. And then since then, it almost feels a bit like a blur because I don't know what happened around COVID time, but like it really did make feel like make time feel it's re like not I, real. I don't think it's just us that feel this. I feel like a yeah. lot of your like people will agree with this and mm -hmm. like feel this too. Like it's... It, it, it feels like we're missing a, a big chunk of time and that like, which is why I think I'm so shocked that, like it makes sense when we're looking at those other videos that they're that many years ago. Yes. But then I look at this and I'm like, how is that six years ago? Mm -hmm. Like it just doesn't compute to me. Yeah. I Time has just been a very strange thing since COVID and yeah, weird. Because like, one of the main reasons why we moved from this house, obviously because that, that weird situation I was in, but also because we were stuck in the house for like almost two years, I got so sick of seeing these walls. It was like, I'm going to go insane if I stay in the yeah, wall. Yeah. And like realistically as well, like one thing that I love about us two is what we've worked so well together, which is why we've lasted nine years, is like, we only ever had one big fight, I would say, and it was during COVID lockdown, because yeah, we were stuck like together 24-7, yeah. and we've never really fought out of it, and we have squabbles, but it was stupid shit, really, nothing was ever majorly serious, but like, we've only really had one big fight, and it was during COVID, I think it's yeah. one of the reasons why we've worked so well together all these years, we have respect, mutual respect, we're not, you know, stepping over each other's to do things and stuff. And I feel like this is my home. Like I don't, I don't feel like I live with a housemate. If that like makes sense, because mm -hmm. because I know you didn't, but I had so many like housemates. I lived with so many like strangers over the years, and like home never really felt like home because yeah. like I was sharing it with like people who weren't like my family. Yeah. Whereas here, even though we're not in a romantic relationship, like I think we may as well be for like the dynamic yeah. that it has. For me, it feels like living with family or living with a boyfriend. It feels like exactly the same thing. And the thing is, because when, when we moved into this place three years ago, we did a video. Do you remember we did the newlywed challenge where we'd answer each other's questions? We wrote yeah, it on that board. Yeah, yeah. And one of the questions there was, did you expect to live, live with each other for so long? And both of us said no. No. <laughs> because I had no idea. But then we added another three years onto that. Yeah, yeah, insane. The thing is though, I've always said to Callum though, like, there's always a room in my place where I'm moving to for you. Like if he ever wanted to come back or come to a place, like there's always space in my life for him. And as a nomad, I am going to visit mm -hmm. you and use the free room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm going to visit you. And like what I'm really interested to see, like, because obviously we'll film and to get together and stuff when I come to visit. But I'm interested to, will it be, will I feel like I'm at home? Because you know, whenever you stay, no matter how much you love them, whenever you stay with a friend, you always feel a little bit like not quite comfortable like mm -hmm. you, you like you can't just go to the even if oh, you, they say like you, you can't can, do you things. can't feel like yeah. you don't feel like you can go, go to the fridge and help yourself to stuff and and like those kind there of will things. be alarms on the fridge and i'm interested to see like what it will feel like when i come and stay with you in your new home will i be like okay this is my room and like i feel comfortable and we're just in the house together or will i feel like Oh, I'm staying with my friend. I have to be yeah, on the best know. behavior. Like, I would I love to say that you wouldn't feel weird, but I guess it's hard. You it's don't hard. really know because it will look different because I can design the place myself. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you feel I hope I feel like as comfortable as I do when I like come and stay here. Because I mean, as I've already said in this video, like the past year has kind of felt like, not like a hotel, but like, because I've been here so little. Yeah. I'm always kind of in and out, in and out, in and out. So yeah, I'm just really interested to see like, like what happens there. Yeah, I think what I've, I've said this a little bit on Twitch, but one thing I found helpful with this transition is not that I'm glad that you've been away, but because you have been away so much, the idea of living on my own doesn't feel as scary because I've almost have been like sort of slowly pushed into it in a way because you've not been here. Yeah, like so I, I, went, like, <clears throat> I went away for three months in a row at yeah. one point last year. <clears throat> you were here on your own for three months. So like you've kind of... And then on and off, you've been gone for like maybe one month or yeah. a few weeks. So like I've kind of gotten used to it. I think if you hadn't done that, I'd feel a lot more like, oh, <gasps> I'm living on my own, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you jump forward to us moving into this house? Do you have that? Did we do a video? So now we so jump we've jumped forward to Callum's blonde era. Blonde era, um, yeah. And like, I'm still in my blonde era. It's just like out of 
I need to dye it. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is when I was figuring it out. Like my blonde isn't like popping yet. Not popping, sis. Not popping yet. Pop off. So this was. So this was in 2020, uh, 20, 2021 when we moved. So this was like four two and a half years ago. Yes. So this was just before we moved here. Um, well, we close to coming three. up to three years. Coming yeah, up yeah. to three. So three we years. lived in that other place for four years. So that video you just saw is when we just moved there, and this is four years later. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Oh my God. Okay, so, hi Callum. I look really tan, um, I know you tan doing? now. I'm good. You excited? I mean, this is gonna be a tough video. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we have a, a weird announcement, we have a, a bit of a strange announcement, but it's really exciting, but it's also kind of like a bit of sweet thing. Um, but we are going to be leaving this house and we're moving house. Uh, well, we would have moved as this video has gone up. Um, and it's like, it's, it's really strange because I am so, so excited because like- We've never been so excited. We've never been so excited, but obviously- we <laughs> You don't it. sound convincing. Yeah. <laughs> our, like our first house that we had, kind of just us two together. And we, we, you know, we did a whole video talking about how we just moved house and it was so exciting. Guys, <laughs> nice, we live in a new house. We do, we- It's getting to inception <laughs> yeah. now. Like, it's, always, it's always really strange when we talk about, we look at old stuff when we're going, I can't believe we lived here for so long. And then, it, this, then, then the thing that we're saying we lived here for so long is also now so long ago. I know. It's like, it, it, it actually like almost like frightens me. It's a bit scary, maybe. isn't it? The, 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 the element of time. Oh my God. Yeah, no, it has, a, it has an, an ominous feeling when you look at like old stuff. Mm. I want to I wanna click the fingers. I mean, oh, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I don't know. I actually don't okay. remember. It's going to be like a TikTok. It's going to be, yeah. Like oh my God. Yes. Okay. The camera's like, okay. no. Okay, ready? Three, two, two one, one, go. Oh, oh my God. And oh my gosh. We are here, guys. We have made it to our new place. And this still looks empty. Yeah. To like Just now. over a week since you saw that first part of the video. So, <laughs> come to the end of the video. <laughs> Should we snap our fingers? No, we can't. <laughs> where we, no, no, where no, we no, gotta no. go? I was just... thinking that like we could snap our fingers to the next time we're in your new home, but like no, because this video needs to go out now. Yeah, I can't imagine just waiting. Are you gonna come to visit yet, Kala? <laughs> I just click it. I'm on my own. Just I stopping. wonder when I will be able. Because like my my new life is gonna be so like I don't know which country I'm gonna be in in a few weeks. You know, like I really don't know where I'm gonna be, what I'm gonna be doing. So it's hard to predict. Yeah. Like, but like, so I don't know when I'll be coming to visit you next. Mm. But like, I imagine sometime over the summer. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be like, literally like a year no, before you come and see me. I guess we'll see. We'll guess, oh God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, um, now that we're at the end of the video, how do we say goodbye? I don't know. How do we say goodbye? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how we say goodbye. <laughs> it's like the final goodbye in this place together. So this will be like, I've kind of, it's kind of a little bit down already, but I like, this will probably be one of the final videos that you see where it kind of looks completely like the same. Yeah, I have filmed a few videos to kind of like do a few things afterwards, but um, yeah. Well, thank you for being a wonderful housemate all these years. And thank you for helping me survive when I first moved to London, because I wouldn't have done it without you. And thank you for being incredible. I'm not going to cry again. Sake, <laughs> but I do want to say, and I'm I'm sure I can speak for me and Callum that thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support you gave us over the years. Um, I, I yeah, we've made about seventy videos together, and uh, some of them have got like two of them got millions of like couple million views, like and so many of them are like half a million, quarter of a million. Like thank you so much for all the love and support you gave us uh, because like you know we enjoyed so much doing these videos for you, and of course it's not you know as we said it's not going to be the last one you ever see of us. Um, might be a little wild, but then. And, you know, thank you for the support because it has meant so much. Um, and I'm glad that you guys have enjoyed our content over the years. Yes, it's been mm. great. It's been great, girls. <laughs> thank you for being wonderful. And yeah, I don't really know how to yeah, actually all of, say properly all goodbye. Of that. All of that. Ditto. <laughs> Do you want me to play the singing blobs? No, but give me a hug. Oh, gosh. Hey.